Today we're going to go over the difference between a BB jam that's in your breech and a plunger jam. Okay, it's also called a dislocation. People are still confused, especially young shooters. So simplify. BB jam, plunger jam. Okay, let's take a look at the loose parts. This is called your plunger assembly. This is really the guide rod for your mainspring. And then you have an air tube on front, right there. And this comes at your BB is the best way. It comes at your BB and pushes it out your barrel. Okay, so let's take a look. Start with the BB jam. Okay, a BB jam means you have bad ammo in your breech, in your barrel, and the air tube, instead of pushing it out, it hits it. And it could be move only about a quarter inch when you pull the trigger or half inch, something like that. And it goes click, 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 and that's all you hear. You don't hear this. Okay, you don't hear that. Just click, click. Okay, that's a BB jam up here. A plunger jam in back is characterized, let's take this apart, by unfortunately a dislocation and misalignment of the back of your plunger right here and your anti-bear trap. It's called the ratcheting. That clicking, people, with the clicking, that's a ratcheting. And then you hit your sear and you pull your trigger. And that's the sound you hear. Okay. With the plunger jam, what I want you to focus on is, okay, this is a normal working gun. It's in working order. With the plunger jam, you have no ratcheting, no noise. The trigger is slack. Now, I need to be careful here. But you have no, it's a zombie gun. Okay. No noises, no ratcheting, and the trigger is slack. Okay. That is a backside jam. That is a plunger jam. That's not a BB jam. A BB jam, clicking trigger, BB jam. Clicking trigger, BB jam. Okay, so even if you just hear this, just a few clicks, because it's stuck back here. It's stuck back here because of the BB up there. Now, unfortunately, everybody says that this is related to this anti-bear trap, the introduction of this. So there's some kind of uh, dislocation, dislocation back there. And so we're going to get used to using this hook. Okay. There's a couple of theories on what's going on back here. But let's go ahead and focus now on the plunger jam. So we take this off. Take off your lever. Take off your nut. All right. Let's focus on that first. Okay. And then we need to get in there. There's a lot of theories of how to fix this and what's going on back there, but I want to focus in on the anti-bear trap arm in this video. So that is, that is this right here. Okay, now here's what it looks like inside your gun. So that's why I took this apart. Okay, you're upside down. You're gonna be like this. Okay, you're upside down. So, okay, so you have the metal here is smooth metal, and then you have the teeth of your anti-bear trap right there. It looks like that in your gun. The goal is to get in between and pull on this with a power grip and pull up. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. Now this is a working gun. So when I get in here with the gentle grip, I know where that anti-bear trap is. It's fine in working order. It's banging against this frame right here. And so obviously there's nothing wrong with that. When it's not that way, that means there's a jam in there and you need to grab this in a power grip and pull up on it. So my power grip and pull, and pull up, up. And then your plunger will shoot forward and then your gun is fixed. And you should oil it while you're here and get some oil in there. Okay, so... Okay, so let's take a little bit closer look at that. So here is a lever. And so what's happening when you're trying to cock your gun and there's a plunger jam, I want to show this for the first time on video, is that this is not doing what's supposed to do. The interaction here is getting thrown off, likely from the anti-bear trap. Something's gone wrong in there. And it's stuck somehow on here, okay? Some people think it's right on top of a tooth. Something, you know... There's many theories, but when you get in there, you need to make sure don't grab this because you need to understand it's going to be like this. 
don't grab this. Your spring is going to be way up here because it's jammed. Either jam, BB or um, plunger jam. It's Your spring is up here and, and compressed. So when you get in here, don't grab this. If you feel this, you're on the wrong part. You need to be gliding right here. Not this. Okay? Because if you feel that and you pull and you obviously, you know, that's not going to do anything. You go like this. You hear that? And you need to get that out of there. Go across the top. And with the power grip, pull on that. And then your gun will correct and shoot in your hair. You hear your familiar thung sound. Okay, so thank you. And I just wanted to get that across to everybody. Remember, clicking trigger is a BB jam. Zombie gun with no noises at all is a plunger jam. And please utilize this tool and get that. And watch this video as many times as you need to to get that get it right. Thank you.